This is Jake Smith with Pure Ocean TV. Today I'm going to show you how to fillet a redfish. It's pretty basic. The shape and design of the redfish is pretty simple. It's a basic fish. It's kind of like a striper if you're from up north or a bass if you're, you know. And uh, I usually just start by cutting right behind the gills in the meat part down the back to the backbone. It's a nice sharp knife. I don't like to get in the stomach too much. See that? See how I made that incision right down the back right there? So you can get as much meat out of that fish as you can. Alright, then you, then you turn. Alright, and then you do a cut right down the back. Right down the back. There's a fin that comes out right here. So you fillet right down the back, right on down there. So you fillet right on down the back, like so. They got them big scales on them. But once you hit that backbone, right in here, I start off, since I'm right handed, I start with the head on the right hand side. I cut right down the back. Follow those bones structure. Follow the bones. Ride them. If you feel like you have resistance, then you're cutting through a bone. You know, and that's that's going to go into the other side of fillet, the fillet. So ease up, back up a little bit. Take a deep breath. It's it's not it's not a rush. You'll get more meat off your fish this way. Just take your time. I like to cut through lower, and I get that so I can flip up and I can kind of see what I'm doing on the other side. See how I cut this off? Now I can see, since they have a pretty thick backbone, kind of like a dolphin does, then you can cut downward and not lose that meat. And just cut straight across. It's fresh, it's still, it's not, it hasn't been refrigerated yet. So it's flimsy, or if you had to it's flimsier than if you had the fish inside of a fridge or freezer for a while. They get nice and solid and firm up when they're on ice for a while. Alright, now I'm not going to cut through the, the, the rib bones because I don't want to I don't want to really rupture that stomach stuff. So, so I'm just riding the rib bone down. One fillet right there. See, so yeah, I just I didn't want to, so I didn't want to cut through the rib cage. So I rode on the top of the ribs and cut down. That's one side. See, so yeah, I cut along the bone. That's meat right there. That can go to the kitty. We got this one. I pulled this hot this this half off. Set it off. I'll skin them both at the same time. Maybe clean off my surface area a little bit. Now, see how I was saying I started with the head on the right hand side when I was flaying with the back facing me? Alright. And now that the head now that the head's on the right hand side, it's easy for me to ride that bone laying against the against the cutting board. So the the fish is laying against this cutting board, so it kind of gives it that extra support along the backbone and it's easier to cut for me at least down like that. Right behind the gills. Just cut them right there. Alright, and then turn. Make your cut. Right down the backbone. Make sure you don't cut too deep. Because you're just going to make that first incision. If you cut too deep, then you're going to cut into your fish. I mean, across the, the backbone into the other side. Those rib bones. Just keep 
Keep following those rib bones. Make sure you follow the rib bones. Cut it through and start working this way. See how I'm following that rib cage? It's getting it's getting pretty flimsy because it's such a you know, you're cutting all the, the muscle, you know, all the meat off of the bones. It's just bones lacking, so it just gets flimsier and flimsier. All those rib cages all the way down. Cut it off behind there. And then you don't have that rib meat in there you have to deal with mom yelling at you because she you got a bone in there. See how I followed the rib cage? Backbone. Kind of gotta get your fingertips down right there. Push it hard down. And then get it under there and slide it and start working it under there and then get it once you get a little bit extra room then get a grip on there like so so you can hold this and move it when the flay meat comes off this little excess meat cut off give it to my cat it's easier when the meat's cold. My brother just caught this fish probably about 30 minutes ago. Right off the beach, we brought it right here and I just started filleting it. So it's a little harder to fillet when it's like that because the meat's more flimsy. But you get underneath there, like I said, get underneath that section. And start working. Once you get a little bit of room for a grip, go ahead and grab on. Ride that meat all the way down. Right there. It's pretty thick. This is pretty thick skin, so it's hard to cut through. But other fish are harder to do, like mackerel. It's hard to skin mackerel, you know? So I usually cook it with the skin on. Now, the, here's the bloodline. The ribs, the bones run right here along the rib line. So then I cut the, the trim out the ribs so I you don't have to so I cut right there kind of cut in cut in with an angle and then start cutting back out the shape of a rib so I go like that you see cut in cut back and this do the same cut that out this is all good meat right here All the red meat's not bad, it's just that little first part. It's got the bones in it, so I take that out. But feel a little bone in there, you might have missed it. You gotta cut a little bit out. Cut that little bone out. See how I did that curve, cut in that way, and then start curving out. It's pretty much the shape of the rib cage. This I'm just gonna cut off. That's pretty much. I like the iron skillet to just pan blacken my redfish. That's the best way I like to eat it. Or curry, redfish curry is awesome. Or just fried. This is Jake Smith with Pure Ocean TV. Thanks for checking us out. For more videos, go to pureoceantv.com. Mm -hmm.